is. It is part of the Bubble Lush and um, Daddy Lush. That sounds so dirty. <laughs> so I have been super sick. I've been getting over strep throat. So I have not gone to the grocery store in a long time. But we're in luck because we just got a box from Plated and um, I'm excited. I don't remember what I ordered. So I want to open the box and see what's for dinner tonight. You excited? Very excited. Super excited. <laughs> Oh uh, yeah. Okay, so we got two plates of uh, pork with pan roasted parsnips and balsamic fig sauce. And then chicken in papillot. Is that what I think? It's French. Papillot. With roasted grapes and shallots. Chicken in paper. Chicken. Yeah. Does that look good? I thought it looked good. Um, and then I think on the back step-by-step -step instructions we got all the ingredients good to go okay so it arrives in the box we got this open that up. all right all sorts of stuff in here grapes for the chicken rosemary and thyme oh i love how everything is labeled that's for the fig sauce oh there, yeah Chicken and that. Everything's like all nice. Parsnips. Oh, I think this is like an extra. And then, oh, some ice packs. And at the very bottom is the protein. Those are some big ice packs. Show yeah. me how big they are. Are yeah. they as big as your beard? Nope. We're going to do the chicken in paper. So we got gra roasted grapes. Well, grapes so we're gonna roast all this stuff and the chicken. So we've got the oven preheating to 400 degrees. The chicken is like double bagged. It's in a Ziploc bag and then it's individually wrapped. So that's nice. Okay, so the chicken has been rinsed and dried off with a paper towel. And now I'm gonna start prepping the potatoes. So the only thing that you have to provide at home is uh, two sheets of aluminum foil, some olive oil, and then salt and pepper. I like how I'm doing this. You, uh, yeah, I like how you didn't read the directions. What? You're supposed to cut the potatoes in half. You just set me up to fail. <laughs> Let's try that again. Now through the magic of film editing, the potatoes have magically cut themselves in half prior to me dumping them in the olive oil because I read the directions. All right, sprinkled some salt and pepper in there, seasoned to, I don't know, it's not seasoned to taste if it's raw, but whatever, put salt and pepper in there. And then um, thinly slice the lemon. Don't put the lemon in the potatoes. Season to taste means to season to your taste. Do you like a lot of salt? Do you like a lot of pepper? Season to, to, to your taste, as they should have said. It's not like season to no, then taste. You know, no, no, not season then taste. It's season to taste. Well, I understand it's season to taste, but I'm... Uh, no, I don't think you do. <laughs> it's a good thing he's cute. <laughs> Kind of. This beard is looking so <laughs> scraggly today. Alrighty, now assemble. Papillon. Well, I don't know, I'm seasoning it to taste. <laughs> I'm seasoning it to my taste, apparently. Is that to my taste? I don't know. How much pepper do you like? Well, I don't. That's plenty. Okay. Do I know salt? I don't understand why I'm not cooking in your film. Because <laughs> you decided to hold the baby. Here. Is that salt? <laughs> Is that enough yeah. salt? I, does it look like enough salt? I, it's, it's very evenly distributed. Uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> okay. All right. No, what? read the directions. What? No, it said put the... Oh, no, it's put the potatoes. God. Potatoes first. These directions are getting me every <laughs> really step. Really difficult. It, it's like I'm not paying attention to anything. All right. You are paying attention. I'm not paying attention. Wait, can we do a cut side down? Is that, is that no, okay? No, don't look at the directions. <laughs> the picture shows cut side up. Are you serious? How hard is it to... <laughs> oh, wait. You it doesn't really matter. <laughs> Fine, top, fine, fine. And then you put this. I know, on. it's really easy, right? <laughs> yeah, it I, know. Is I bet you could do a better job than I'm yeah, doing. Yeah, I can do a better job. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, I need to spend more time. Yeah. Observing. More time in the kitchen. <laughs> more time in the kitchen. Because. 
Good thing you married me for my looks and not my cooking skills. Well, I was well aware of your cooking skills before. <laughs> and you okay. guys are going to have the best thing ever. Best thing ever. This is what it looks like. Look. Oh, look at look that. Look at how nice it and looks. And now look at the that. lemon. Now, I... you want to help, Hattie? Uh-huh. Very excellent sous chef, Hannah. Yeah. I can do better than you, Mom. <laughs> do better. <laughs> So Hannah, you want to put those two on that one? Yeah. Oh, this only leaves me with one. That's okay. I don't like that much time. Hey, did you zoom up on this uh, excellent folding skill that I got going on here? <laughs> yeah. See, this is where all your crafting skills come into play. Yeah. Look at that. Roll and tuck. All right, so they're already on a baking sheet, and now we're going to bake them until they are brown, puffed, and the chicken is cooked through and no longer pink. So 30 minutes. Look how cute they look. All right, so while the chicken is cooking, we are going to rinse the grapes and half them. Then we're going to peel the shallots and quarter them. We're going to rough chop the rosemary and discard all the stems. That sounds easy enough. So we got grapes, wash in half, quarter these bad boys. These are going to be huge. Um, and then chop this all up. I can totally handle that. Do you even know what a shallot is? <laughs> <laughs> Babe. <laughs> This is supposed to be fun. This isn't this like is, this is very fun. <laughs> like make fun of your wife night. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, this is very fun. <laughs> Evo. I like how they actually tell you, hey, this is balsamic this, vinegar this, for the chicken. And it's for the chicken. So they should put on their like step four for Carla. <laughs> <laughs> they totally should have. <laughs> When do I put this on? When do I put the balsamic vinegar on? I'm surprised you didn't put it to the bed of the potatoes. <laughs> oh, it goes with the chicken. It says chicken. With the chicken. <laughs> I love my husband. It's a good thing I do. Okay. And you mix it, mix it, mix it. Oh, awesome. Growing grapes. Growing grapes. Growing grapes. That's how you know things are getting serious in the kitchen. Grapes are hitting the ground. Well, roasting grapes, this is the first time I've ever heard of this. So. This is an interesting uh -oh. take on things. Hannah's doing her, oh, oh. Oh, William's probably gonna shut off the TV. Oh, William's touching the power button. <laughs> We're gonna shove it in the oven for 15 minutes. So I didn't read the front page through and under here they have their cooking tips. And uh, right here, this is, this is for me. Yeah. Be sure to read through the entire recipe before you begin cooking, trust us. You'll be glad you did. That's, that's for me. Yeah, that's for you. The problem with this is... I'm terrible at following directions. No, you have to actually read that to know that you should read through the recipe. No, the first, the first time you cook a meal, you should always read through the recipe. Well, I looked! Look, okay, look, it's got pictures. Look, pictures, so therefore, got, that's all you have to do. It's got pictures. <laughs> look. The problem with this recipe, though, is that there's like... 50 steps in the first step. There's a lot to do in the first step. There's four things in the first step. Well, I messed up every <laughs> single one of them. <laughs> every single one. All right. You did rinse the chicken. I did. I, oh, I did. Great job. I rinsed that chicken. Yeah. <laughs> the chicken was clean. The chicken was clean. I rinsed it. I patted it dry. However, the lemons were added into the potatoes at one point. Yeah. The potatoes were put upside down. <laughs> They weren't even sliced. They weren't even sliced. Uh, it's not job. Plated's fault. You it's did, mine. You did an excellent job of folding the Pepe out there. I did. I'm a really good paper folder. <laughs> and grape slicer. And grape slicer. I did a really good job. That's just because I'm a mom. Yeah. I, you cut those grapes. <laughs> you do not leave those grapes that is a whole. a choking hazard. Yeah. I was. I felt, Old grapes choking hazard. It felt weird even just cutting them in half. I wanted to cut them in like quarters. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So now, uh, now we just sit back. Yeah. And relax. Yeah. And let it cook. Yeah. And the kitchen is clean. It is. There was like minimal cleanup. I'm just gonna talk on the phone now. I'll talk to you guys later. It smells good. It does smell good. What do you think? Looks pretty good. It looks pretty I think that chicken looks perfectly peppered and salted. <laughs> to taste. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it is peppered and salted to taste. <laughs> and those potatoes, they look just artfully arranged. Let's plate it up. The way that Chris cut it, like leaving a little bit of this top edge and just kind of cutting a circle out, is actually really good because then when you put it on the plate, the juices are just kind of, see they're just collecting in there, but they're not spilling onto the plate and they're not going to get all in the 
grape mixture. So that was good. Inadvertently, you made a masterful decision, Chris. Not inadvertently, I'm trying to make it look like the picture. Huh. Uh, I guess it does look like the picture. <laughs> you really did read this recipe, didn't you, Chris? <laughs> <laughs> good job, Chris. Yeah, good job. Good job. I'm so glad I did this with you and not for you. Oh yeah, so am I. <laughs> oh wait, we gotta we gotta rotate rotate the plate rotate the plate. Okay. Oh wait, hold on. Seriously. Okay. Look at that. Nailed it. Nailed it. What do you think? It really does. We did a very good job of looking. Just like look at that. Look, I even spilled it onto the paper like they did. <laughs> what? This one isn't as pretty. That's yours. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys, let's dig in. Get a little chicken and some potato. Look at that. All right, let's, let's see some grapes and shallot. Oh, that's good. The grapes are wicked sweet, right? They taste really good. And the balsamic vinegar is awesome. These actually, this this tastes really good. You like it? Yeah, it was good. It was really good. So, I mean, while it's not feasible to make every meal a plated meal, I actually think that it's really nice to have for the occasional, like, nice romantic dinner with your husband. Super romantic to cook like this and be made fun of and <laughs> joke around with each other. That was a good time. Um, and then, you know, if you don't have time to run to the store, you have a nice dinner with your in-laws or something like that, maybe a date night. I don't know, I thought it was really good. Yeah. Yeah, I love how everything came pre-portioned. I like that the recipes were new and fun. You got to pick whatever your recipe was, like you got to pick what you wanted to try. They also have a lot of like dietary re restrictions that they consider. So if you don't want dairy or if you're on a certain diet, right? Like those choices were all available to you. So I like it. I thought it was really good. Yeah. A nice little splurge. Mm -hmm. And now we have a new recipe to add to the rotation. I think we're going to roast grapes again. Yeah, I think we will. I think we will. You want to come over here and say goodbye? Thank you, Kristen. We're going to have a nice romantic dinner mm -hmm. with our grapes. With our grapes. With our grapes. And our papio. Papio. <laughs> Here. Bye, guys. All right, so I just took this mini cupcake tin. It does a really good job of kind of keeping everything in place. And I paired all of the cookies up. I put all my frosting in, in a bag. There's no tip. I just cut a little bit off. And all you do is simply squeeze it around and then kind of fill it in a little bit and just set it on top. Don't squeeze it down. People will squeeze it down when they go to take a bite.